morning, hello, happy Saturday. Don't call it a comeback, but we are back. I am so sorry I took a break for so long. You guys know how it goes. You know who I am. I'm not even gonna dance around the truth. I got COVID and then I fell off the wagon in a way where I just stopped working. And then I started posting a lot on my gaming channel and now here we are. Now I'm actually doing things. I'm not so busy. We went to Philadelphia last weekend for my best friend's graduation. That was like so, so fun. We went to the Renaissance Fair and to this weekend, what are we doing, Zach? We're going to look at puppies and kitties. One of my friends is like putting on a little event where they are helping facilitate animal adoption, which I think is really cool. So we are gonna go up, we're gonna show our support, may or may not come home with an animal. We'll see. This is about to get real graphic. Peach has had diarrhea for the past week. It's been really not fun to clean up and keep up with. So I think that might be like our animal birth control in a way where it's like, mm, maybe not another. It is what it is. And also before we get going, a plant update. Guys, check this out. Look at how she's doing. I am so proud. We have a new leaf that unraveled today. This one's gonna probably finish unraveling today. Um, and then we have one down here. That's about to unravel. So this plant has gotten so big. And then of course I have my cutting right here. He's in a SpongeBob Broadway cup right now. So that's that. I'm so excited. I mean like look at that pink. Look at how pink that stayed. That's amazing. Before we move on, head over to staypeachy.com to check out the newest, hottest merch of the summer. Let's go look at animals. Also, a little quick outfit of the day. I got this little cute tank top from White Fox. This skirt is from Halara. And then also, I got these really cute Steve Madden platform white sneakers. I've been really digging Steve Madden shoes lately. Like, they have a lot of designer dupes. Not sure who these are dupes of, but it's more affordable than designer, so I'm into it. What do you think about Steve Madden? I'm a fan because a $40 shoe would be a $2,000 shoe somewhere else. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like thought he was gonna quote the Wolf of Wall Street. I was trying to set him up. Madden. Steve Madden. <laughs> shoe. Anyway, I got a new tattoo on my hand. So as you can see, they're little flowers down to a butterfly and some sparkles. I had some sparkles right here, but as we can see now, they just look like little dots because um, that's what happens whenever you get a hand tattoo. It just like falls out. And then also I got a little Kirby. This was for a still not asking for it event, little flash tattoo, so loving it. Any comment? I have no new tattoos. No new tattoos over here, not yet. I'm getting public vlogging anxiety. It's been a while since you vlogged. It's been a bit, but we're here at Operation Kindness to meet some of the animals. Oh, there we go. Zach's really vibing with this one. <laughs> so cute. It's so tiny, it's three years old and it's only seven pounds. Every time you approach the cage, it comes in once. Yeah. Do you, do, you want to, do you want to meet her? I'd meet her. You want to meet her? Okay, she's on our list. She's on our list. So this one had a sister, and I think its sister got adopted. Because now it's just him, instead of him and his sister. So maybe we have to meet him too. I think these are the two we want to meet. Okay, so we're going to be meeting three cats. Candy, Beige, and what was the other one? Petri. Uh, Petri. Petri. So two of them, I think two of them are girls, one of them's a boy. And we're just going to feel it out. We're going to see if this is something that's going to work for us. <laughs> I'm like really nervous though. They were just so cute. Beige really liked you. Yeah. She's basically as old as Moshi. Yeah. Megan? Yes. I'm nervous. <laughs> like it's like I want a cat. But I'm like, oh, how will the other animals we, feel? So what I'm nervous about, we have two cats, two dogs, uh -huh. and we live in like a condo. Yeah, but it's a cat. Like cats are so easy and they don't require a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. There's no pressure. Yeah, there's, there's no, pressure. no pressure. Brianna has done a really great job with this event. I'm sure the shelters are like pretty cleared after this. A lot of people were adopting when we were just in that room now. Yeah, like they're signing up. So we really want to meet Beige though. So she's three. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> he reminds me so much of Ted. Look how big his paws are. Is he going to be big? Oh my God, he's a sweetie. He's got his old man face. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see this. He's got a grumpy cat face. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's really chill. I want to get beige on camera. She's like, she's like, why did you stop playing me? She's so <laughs> cute. You can't see her tortoise shell right now. We can't take her out, but Very she is cute. so cute. Okay, um, 
we adopted a cat. <laughs> this is why we can't be trusted. I'm so excited. I'm literally like tearing up. Okay, we're almost home. In the elevator. There she is. So we haven't told you guys which one we've picked out, which one we're coming home with. So it's gonna be like a little bit of a surprise. So you can leave your comment down below if you think that we went with Petrie, Candy, or Beige. Let me know. Okay, so yeah, we <laughs> adopted a new cat. I feel like I can finally sit down and chat about it. So basically, um, when Zach and I went, we were open to the idea of a cat, but like we were like 20% yes, 80% no. Um, but we still wanted to go. We wanted to support Brianna in her event. And I wanted to like kind of just see the animals and pet them and like spend some time there and just, you know, exist. Uh, so we met three cats, super cute. And the one we picked, this is gonna give it away. She's the older one. She's three years old. Uh, we decided to pick Bay whose name was Baby for three years and then Beige for like a week. <laughs> we decided to pick her because she immediately really liked Zach. Whenever we were there, she immediately started slamming her body against the crate to get to Zach. She was very friendly. She was immediately digging her head into our hands. And then whenever we went to go like meet some of the cats, the guy at the shelter was like, yeah, honestly, Beige is really shy. Like she's warmed up a little since she's been here, but like she's really shy. Like she's not really super into like people. I was like, oh, that's weird because she really wanted to get to Zach. He opens up the cage for us to meet her. She's immediately like accepting of being pet and handled. We couldn't hold her and you could only pet and like kind of talk to her a little bit. She was so sweet. She was taking a little cat nap. And as we got more information, we found out that her first owner passed away, which I think is really sad. I don't know who their past owner was, but uh, sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm about to cry. I don't know who their past owner was, but I hope that we can give this cat the life that that owner would have wanted. <laughs> you know, she's looking for her forever home and she was so sweet to Zach and I was like we need this cat who she would do so well with our family I felt it and I ultimately let Zach make the decision because he's more rational than me um and he seemed on board and whenever he was on board I was like okay yeah I'm on board like let's do it I was kind of like sit like your decision oh hi sweetie here she is you guys ready to meet her I know I don't know if she wants to be held right now here she is this is Mikasa. I know, babe. So she's she's looking around. So I really don't want to hold her too much. I, I let Zach pick out her name because I named Peach, I named Luna, I named Cleo, I named Moshi, and I named Tetra. He was like, Mikasa. And I was like, oh yeah, Mikasa. And that's what we went with. She's so cute. She's looking around. I think this is her first time noticing like the windows in the place. Oh my gosh. It's like her first time noticing that there's so many things to look at outside. So I'm I'm really excited and the reason we're not gonna call her baby is because I already call all of my pets baby. We'll see how she takes to Mikasa. The dogs, I let them sniff a towel. They haven't met yet. Ted came up to Mikasa and Mikasa did not like that. She started hissing at Ted and Ted was just like, and then Moshi too just kind of like walked up and then Mikasa hissed at Moshi. She's just adjusting. Hi honey, you wanna come over here? I'm just so excited and I'm really grateful that Brianna threw this event and I'm grateful that we were able to give baby slash beige, beige slash Mikasa a home. As I said, I hope I'm able to give this cat the life that its first owner would have wanted it to have. That's all I have to say about that. My bathroom is really messy, but look guys, you see how her tail is shaking? I looked it up. It said like when their tail is straight up like this and shaking, it means that they're excited. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, you sweetie. I'm so excited to have you here. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So sweet. She is so happy. Yeah. Good morning. Today is a Sunday, aka Father's Day. So happy Father's Day, Zach. Thank you. We don't have any kids, but we do have a fur family. It's really funny because I posted a TikTok yesterday like about Club Libby Lou's and mentioning how uh, if I had a daughter, I would not be able to show her Club Libby Lou's and now everybody thinks I have a daughter. I like I was talking about a future fictional daughter, but I'm just going to let people run with it. What am I going to do? Today for breakfast, we are doing an ever bowl and I love these so much. If you've ever had an acai bowl, this is like 20 times better. You can customize your flavors. So Zach got the classic acai, but I I always like to get coconut and also like this blue stuff. Let me see what it's called because it is really good. And I feel like I always want to say it tastes like it tastes like pool chlorine. And that's probably not a great um, describer of it, but it's just like kind of how I feel. This is just called like blue magic, uh, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> it is pool chlorine. 
I'm very excited. So Mika is adjusting really well. She slept all night in my closet. Um, well, I, I want to say she's adjusting well for like a cat, meeting other cats and dogs. We have only had her be really sweet. Now she has been hissing and a little bit like, hey, don't come near me, but that's super normal. And she's adjusting really well. I was just holding her while we waited for our food and Peach came in and she actually seemed to really allow Peach to be like sniffing her and near her face. You guys saw the clip where I was like, there, she's getting along with the dogs. All of a sudden after that clip, she started to really not like the situation um, and she started hissing at the dogs. And then I deducted after kind of watching her body language that she's maybe scared of Luna. So we're gonna have to work on that. But she seems to really enjoy Peach. So, you know, just one animal at a time. Um, we're out here with the family eating breakfast. You know, we have Luna over there, Peach, Ted, and then Moshi back there. So hopefully one day Mika, hopefully one day soon, I think it'll be like a day or two, she'll be able to be out here and join us on our, you know, our little family weekends. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my ever bowl and also I have my unsweet tea here. So very exciting stuff. Um, and then later we're gonna go out to eat with my dad and my mom for Father's Day. Okay, it's now Monday. I'm sorry, I'm like in my, my moo moo. It's just, it's the only way to keep warm. I swear my office always gets so cold and I always have to keep these windows closed or else I can't see my computer because of the glare. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, I wanted to give more updates about Baby Baby, AKA Mika Mika, AKA Mikasa. She has been hanging out in the closet. Um, she rotates which closets or which doors she likes to hide behind. We're learning a lot about her little personality, but sometimes she does come out and she gets little pets. So we're about to go see her. But first, we have Peach, we have Ted. Hey, Tetra. Teddy, Teddy, the camera's on. You don't wanna say hi? Okay, and then Luna. Moshi's somewhere out in the living room, but let's, let me show you. Let me see if I can find Mika Mika for you guys and um, see what she's up to. Here she is. Look. Hi, Mika Mika. Hello, come here. Let's see if we can get her to come out. We just woke her up, I know guys, I know. Peach, where is Mika Mika? Go get her, go wake her up. Honestly, Peach has been really cute. If I'm like in a room, I'll be like, where's Mika Mika? And Peach will get up and she'll start like looking for her. She'll like stick her nose everywhere. Like you could tell she's actually looking for her. So Peach has been a big help in finding her whenever I'm not able to. Are you gonna lay with her, Peach? No, you're trying to, you're trying to lay with her? She's like, I'm not getting up, I'm sleeping here. Okay, so basically, as you can expect, I probably will not be showing Mika Mika a lot in a lot of vlogs, just because I never wanna force any of my animals to be around like little puppets. <laughs> so uh, if you see her, you see her. If you don't, just assume she's in a closet sleeping somewhere. But guys, that is it. Um, I am so excited to have a brand new family member. It's just been great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag stay peachy, stay kind, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>